Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another session, Art and Craft with Akanksha. Before starting the session today, I want to share an art piece that I created after being inspired from Frida Kahlo, uh, the way she dresses up, her styles. She has influenced me to a, another level. Um, she, she has ingrained in me the quality of observing because observation is one of the most important qualities that is present in an artist. So this piece right here, it's, it's inspired by Frida Kahlo. But there is this bubblegum thing because I'm bubblegums. And then there's lots of flowers in the hair. So yeah, I just wanted to share this. And I would also love to know your unique stories of how you create art. Pens because I have these available right now. A lot of my resources are back home. And I came... Um, to my hometown with very less resources i just came here for a week to spend my time and i was here uh, i'm here ever since because of lockdown the materials that i will be using today is paper newspaper thread a pair of scissors watercolors pencil eraser so yeah, so today's session is all about thinking about our walls, how we can make them more interesting. So I had this really cool idea in my mind and I actually got influenced by a television ad where I saw these really beautiful hangings that went up on the wall and also on your ceiling. So uh, I'm going to help you create these. So let's start it. As I do not have a round wire or a frame you can even use uh, frames that are available at home like embroidery frames but I do not have that so I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna take newspaper roll it and create a stick out of it which I'm gonna bend later on take a pencil put it at the edge of the newspaper and start rolling the whole newspaper out to Ta-da! and I have created the basic structure so now it's gonna be a little tricky because this might take a little while to bend mm -hmm. but we can always give it any shape that we want we can either create a circle or if you find a wooden um, embroidery frame at home or anything that's circular in a shape of a ring like a large ring this way yeah that would also do but now that this is a little difficult to bend and mold I'm gonna mold it in the shape of a triangle which will be very easy for me to handle so what I'm gonna do is bend it at the edge over here like this and then take another edge and bend it so I have folded it into two three parts I'm gonna press it real hard and see what did I get now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take tape this with tape so now my frame is ready it can be any shape it can be square it can be circle it can be um, rhombus and uh, whatever shape it can also be a free-flowing shape it's just that you just keep in mind that whenever the first time you're trying it out keep it a little simple because um, I think uh, first time is an experimentation time and then you can take it forward in any way that you want to as i do not have colored paper at home so i am taking this piece of cloth i'm going to cut a strip out of this and then i'm going to use that strip of cloth to wrap it on my frame that i've created
keep in mind that this might be a little difficult but you can always wrap one one over the other so that it doesn't open see how am i doing this you can even wrap paper you can even paint it you can use whatever resources that you have at home which are available to you easily this was easily available to me and here it goes now take tape step 2 is tying knots on the edges so that we can hang it easily so what i'm going to do is if, if you do not know how to tie a knot you can take help from the elders in the family or uh, anyone who can help you do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the thread i'm going to crisscross the thread and take it out inside the loop one time and i'm going to repeat the same process create a crisscross take the loop put it in and bring it on the outside and you're done So when we are hanging this, we can hang it however we want to. So just if you if you putting it on a ceiling or perhaps on your curtain rod, you can just slide this in. Take help from an adult and tie it. Simple, and you're good to go. Just remember that the knot should be even. Here we go. Using the shape circle. As you can see, the papers that I have here is plain white. Um, I am um, out of colored paper. So I'm going to paint these papers. Now you can also create a color scheme or color board, whichever you like. And uh, then you can go about in that way. So I have thought that I've already used this blue. So I'm going to start like an ombre effect. So I'm going to have dark blue, then maybe a lighter shade of blue, then white, and maybe I can end it with a pink or purple. So I'm going to take it that way. So now for my first sheet, I'm going to paint it uh, with a really dark blue. The next sheet I'm going to paint with sky blue. The other one, I'm going to leave it white because I also want white color. And the last one can be pink. And when I'm done with these, I'm going to come back and show you how to cut the shape. In the time the paper dries, I'm going to cut out some strings that we will have to attach and on, on those strings, I will be attaching uh, the papers that I've colored. I've cut out six different pieces of thread. One, two, three four five and six so i'm going to start cutting out the shapes so if i'm using pink 
um, I think I will use the shape circle because I already have a frame that is triangular and I want to use different kind of shapes so I'm going to make so now you can see how I've drawn the shapes behind now I'm going to take a pair of scissors um, and cut these shapes out from all the papers I'm going to take the string and I'm going to start placing these So this is the final outcome and you can hang it anywhere that you want in your home. So I hope you really enjoyed this and I would love to see your pieces go up on Seesaw. So now we're going to start with the next one which is hot air balloons and beautiful. For this beautiful wall, wall hanging uh, we'll be needing paper, pencil, uh, brush pens, crayons or paint clouds. So I'm going to make a big one and a few small ones. So what I have in mind is to create at least uh, five clouds in which I'll be using both the big one and the small one. So I'm going to start creating it now and I'm going to show you how. I can now create a lot of clouds and then cut them together so I'm gonna make one So my next step will be folding these clouds into half. If I have this cloud, I'm going to just put the two edges together. However the shape is, it doesn't matter. Just it should be symmetrical when you do it, like the whole of it. And then I'm going to do repeat this with the other one as well.
I'm gonna take this, hold it. So it gives a 3D effect. Clouds can be of any shape that you want. They can be like rabbits or they can be like dinosaurs. So it's your creativity and I would love to see how you work it out. These will come out like this. Different. You just have to take the same sized clouds, uh, press the edges and uh, press the center to create a symmetrical line and then you have to tape on the bottom cloud and put the other cloud on top of it and then you have this piece like this as you can see you can create anything you Now the, oh, the full thing is that we're going to color it in different ways because the clouds are white so I didn't color them but with these I really want to color them. Green so I'm going to keep one green so it, it's, it has to be in a pattern so if I'm going to put these together like in this, this formation so one will be green the other will have to be pink. This will have to be green and the one behind will be pink. So if I'm taking two different sheets, one I'm going to color green. Just remember the line of symmetry. 